third down. In football, there's literally a fine line between keeping the drive live and having to punt. Just it up for the first down. A line that's yellow, at least on TV, showing where a player needs to get to for a first down. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't remember not seeing the yellow line. And for fans, it's become as much of the game as the ball itself. It's your favorite team, it's fourth and inches. You want to be able to see that your team got the first down. When Super Bowl 49 kicks off on Sunday, the yellow line will be there too. A piece of technology that not that long ago was a breakthrough and has grown into a major and competitive part of televised sports. Now they have one timeout left. So that looks pretty good to me. It works like this. Hours before a game, cameras are hooked up to software that calibrates their movement. Things like zoom, pan, tilt, and other things. And then we build a virtual field that we lay on top of the real field in our software. And from that software, um, we operate within our virtual field and we lay our lines over the real field. The idea goes back to the late 70s, but picked up steam in the late 90s as computers got more powerful. The game-winning touchdown right. with ESPN's Jed Drake was one of the first to take the idea and run with it. The reaction was fascinating. Uh, it was revolutionary, first of all. Drake, working with a new company called Sport Vision, debuted the line during a Bengals Ravens game in 1998. After struggling a bit over what color it should be, we looked at red, we looked at blue, we looked at green. Well, green didn't work. Um, you know, you go through the whole spectrum, and, and sooner or later, you, you you realize that yellow is is one color that generally is not on the field. And it looks like another first down. These days, several companies and broadcasters work the yellow lines, and things have expanded to show lines of scrimmage in the field goal range. And the technology has grown into sports like baseball, NASCAR, and golf. The yellow line is big money because it's very competitive. But sports could find there's such a thing as making the TV experience too good. It could eventually affect attendance, and if that happens, maybe what the NFL has done technologically at home could backfire on them. And the thought of empty stadiums, a line no sport wants to cross. David Bruns, The Associated Press.